this is my Jesenia Pothos. She is ready for propagation. Today is the day, ladies. We are going to, big word here, propagate. We're going to propagate this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Yesenia Pothos. She resides in my kitchen in a south facing window. She hangs there, as you can see from this beautiful macrame hanger, and she loves life. She's so thirsty. She's so thirsty. I, I water her probably like twice a week because she's so thirsty. And because she just continues to grow, 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 I figured now would be a great time to propagate. Not to mention, my mom when she was over the last time. She said, if you want to give me a piece of that plant at any time, I won't be mad. Okay, so I thought, eh, she can stop asking. I'll go ahead, I'll propagate her now, and then maybe by Christmas she'll root. I can give it to my mom as a Christmas gift and she will be very, very, very pleased. <laughs> so let's talk about this plant. This is a Yesenia Pothos, as I mentioned. She is from the Epiprenum family. And I did not know that she was a Yesenia Pothos when I picked her up. I saw her in one of my local big box stores. She was beautiful. She was winking at me from across the big warehouse aisle. And <laughs> I just thought she was gorgeous. Who doesn't love a gorgeous Pothos? <laughs> Why not take her home? and make her mine. So she came home with me and that's when I started researching the Jesenia pothos. And I learned that this pothos is actually supposed to have variegation. My guess is that she was being shipped for a long time <laughs> in a very dark box because she had no variegation when I purchased her. My understanding is she's supposed to be chartreuse in green. So a very, very bright green. Um, and then this darker green. You can see some spots of chartreuse on a couple of leaves here inside, but not many. I mean, if I did not look this up, I would have never guessed this was supposed to be a variegated plant. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? I have a little bit of a confession to make and I'm not embarrassed to say this. I am not embarrassed to say this at all. I had not heard the word propagate before this year. <laughs> now, let me say, my mom has always had a golden pothos. When I was growing up, I didn't know that was the name of the plant. She had this long vining plant all over the place. I would help her water it, but she's always had a golden pothos. And what would happen is people would ask her for pieces of her plant. So she would just give him a cutting. She would just clip it. She would just say, oh, cut me a leaf off that plant. Cut me a piece of that so plant. So I did not know there was actually a real, a proper term <laughs> for giving somebody a piece of your plant called propagation. I didn't know because I didn't know the name. I'm sure there's at least one other person out there who is not familiar with the term propagation. So what does propagation mean? thought we were cutting a piece of the plant. So now let's talk about propagation and properly propagating, prop, prop, properly propagating <laughs> this pothos. How do we do that? We want to make sure that we are cutting the stem right below a node, right? So here you see some nodes on this plant. As long as you are cutting below this node, this is where the stem will root, right? And in order for us to have another plant, a new plant, we actually have to have roots or else you'll just be sitting around with a plant for months with a leaf. Here, as you can see, the back of this plant here, here's one. This one has a lot of strong nodes. Here's another one, right? All along this vine, you'll see 
nodes. Let's get to cutting. I am propagating these cuttings in water. So here you'll see there were more cuttings than I realized. My glass is quite small. I actually had to get a second glass to put <laughs> some cuttings in. However, you could also propagate these leaves in soil directly. So you don't have to propagate them in water. Another quick tip here is if you want a bushier pothos, you can actually take these cuttings and propagate them into the soil in the pot of the mother plant. So you don't need to propagate them in water, you can propagate them in soil, and you can actually propagate them in the soil of the mother plant, and that would make your pothos bushier overall. But as you know, I am going to take these clippings and turn them into, it looks like, two new plants. So I'm not gonna choose to do that.